lavorato per molti anni all'unità LIFE eh, nella gestione del programma e eh, nella gestione dei vari progetti, tra cui eh, G2G. Il progetto si occupa eh, di eh, iniziare a proporre il riciclaggio dei pannelli di eh, gesso. secteur de la fabrication de, de plaques de plâtre sont euh, donc partie prenante du projet. Dans ce projet-là, nous avons aussi euh, les deux plus grands euh, recycleurs euh, de déchets à base de plâtre euh, mondiaux, que sont GRI et New West Ipsum Recycling. Ce genre de projet est bridging les um, difficultés dans la communication entre les différents shareholders dans la chaîne de valeur. When we talk about recycling, you have to have people that uh, deconstruct, demolish a building, people that collect this waste, people that, companies that uh, transport logistics, people that recycle, companies that recycle, companies that uh, introduce this recycled material in their production process. So it is very difficult to make all these people speak talk to each other. So it's uh, difficult then to harmonize all those different interests. The main objective is that we grow together, we are competitive together, and we achieve the, our goals together. Il settore delle costruzioni è il settore che eh, produce la maggior quantità di eh, rifiuti. Eh, basti pensare alla demolizione di un edificio, eh, alla quantità di cemento, mattoni, metalli, eh, gesso che vengono eh, attualmente gettati nella, per la maggior parte eh, in discarica. One major obstacle to recycle gypsum is the fact that buildings are currently demolished and not dismantled. And this is really a major issue. Le premier rôle que l'on a, c'est un rôle extrêmement opérationnel puisque nous avons la responsabilité de mener à bien un ensemble de, de tâches qui vont de l'état de l'art de la déconstruction en Europe jusqu'à euh, l'étude plus en détail de ce qui se passe lors de projets de déconstruction sur des sites pilotes. La démolition site est un environnement hazardous. Environment. Um, you've got sharp bits of metal, you've got glass, you have to have lots of people on the floor to uh, strip out the soft parts of the building. If you send them out in their separate constituent parts, it's more efficient. Uh, it enables the facility to segregate the materials better, adds to the efficiency of the job, it adds to the safety uh, of the job by making sure people can walk around the, um, uh, the materials uh, and not trip over, you know, uh, and it's easier to control. Il gesso è per il momento una risorsa abbastanza abbondante, ma è comunque una risorsa limitata che deve essere eh, risparmiata e gestita eh, al meglio. Eh, inoltre le cave di gesso, le miniere di gesso hanno un impatto eh, territoriale notevole, prima di tutto per, perché alcune di queste sono a cielo aperto e poi per il trasporto, anche per il trasporto della, della materia prima nei luoghi di trasformazione. The G3 project was driven, really driven and uh, wanted and designed by Eurogypsum. Uh, we are very much convinced in our industry that recycled gypsum will become a major secondary raw material in the future. Oh, 
we have to be more sustainable. Uh, and so many of our clients want to be seen to be doing the right thing. Uh, and if they know that we are doing the right thing, the right thing, then they are able to uh, put that forward to to uh, other clients to say, look, we can do this for you, um, and that we're making sure that everything everything is is going off site and being recycled as as it should be. Contaminated plastic from demolition waste needs to be treated adequately. It's a machine and there are different standards in the world how to, uh, how to do that. Now we have a patent and process which is made 35 years ago. There we separate the paper from the powder. Paper goes back to paper recycling for cardboard or other different products. And the powder always goes back to the manufacturer to make plasterboard. Within the G2G project, the plasterboard waste is received by us, the recyclers. And there we have to transfer the plasterboard waste to a product that a manufacturer can use. In some European countries the um, use of plasterboards is not uh, so widespread as in other countries. That has to do with the climatic conditions, with the tradition in building, the use of buildings and so on. Different European countries, such as the Netherlands or the region of Flanders in, Bl in Belgium, have already established a successful waste management scheme for the majority of the waste fractions generated. There are different practices in the construction and as a result the uh, plasterboard use is not as high and as a result there is not enough market. So recycling is not an issue in some countries in Europe. There are other countries where recycling practices are well established and uh, they are developing. And of course, European regulations and legislation play a crucial role in homogenizing the picture in Europe. If the architects and the building industry would promote a little bit more the use of recycled plasterboard, that would push the market a lot. Um, for example, in Belgium you see a, um, you see a cradle to cradle uh, uh, plasterboard coming on the market and I think that will push the recycled content uh, to much higher levels. Nous sommes en train de fermer la boucle, nous sommes en train de créer ce qu'on appelle de manière un petit peu uh, peut-être ambitieuse de l'économie circulaire et c'est justement euh, cette, cette boucle que l'ensemble des acteurs doit s'efforcer euh, de former et de faire euh, fonctionner au mieux afin d'économiser tout d'abord euh, les, les ressources naturelles qui sont relativement rares et qui deviennent de plus en plus chères et puis euh, éviter un certain nombre de, nuis de nuisances liées euh, à une mauvaise euh, gestion euh, des déchets. just use more recycled products in the board. And you can only use more recycled product in the board if the quality is good enough. And that means that the whole chain has to assure that the, the quality stays perfect. Le challenge principal pour monter euh, ce projet, ça a été de réunir euh, l'ensemble des acteurs économiques tout au long de la chaîne de valeur autour euh, de, de les mettre autour d'une même table, d'un même sujet. Now we're assessing the carbon footprint of the landfilling versus recycling route of the plasterboard waste. We can identify different challenges towards uh, resource efficiency economy. Systematic compliance with the existing regulations. Uh, higher and standardized landfill tax in the European countries, and limitation of legal alternative disposal routes that may limit recycling and reuse of construction materials. You cannot say that Europe is doing it better than North America or the other way around. It really depends on the member state and or the region in North America. And same is for Asia. But in general, you can say that North America and Europe are way ahead about any Asian market. <laughs> <laughs>